Working at BuzzFeed, you're signing up for your life to be weirder. Everything we do, every video is already a, this can only happen at BuzzFeed. You're lucky if you catch one where we have clothes on. The one I'm gonna speak about today is already the most only a BuzzFeed video we ever did, which is the Try Guys Try Ancient Olympics. We compete in the Ancient Olympics naked as the Ancient Olympians did. Let's start at the beginning. We're shooting at the Getty Villa, a beautiful museum of ancient Grecian artifacts. We first want to try to let them have us compete naked on their grounds. This was out of the question because some of our older donators don't want naked men running around million dollar art. Fine, whatever. We only have a few days to shoot this. You know, scheduling stuff is hard. Also, any unscripted video can quickly fall to shit because there's no script. We find a place to shoot. It is a nearby high school. This is the summer, so nobody, nobody should be there. We fill out some paperwork. We have this check ready for them. And we show up on the day we agreed to show up on the football field. And then a day camp of eight to 12 year old boys and girls comes onto the football field. Uh, we're naked in bathrobes in July. Now we're like, oh, this isn't supposed to be happening. No one should be here, because a bunch of grown men are about to try to do the long jump naked. There's a guy who we're working with, and we call him down and say, hey, what are all these kids doing? It's like, whoa, we thought you could only use half the field. And we're like, we told you we'd be naked. We had paperwork that specifically says, we're gonna be naked here. It's like, well, you can't, they have this field. I'm like, no, we have this field. And I start getting very upset. I say, you need to get these kids to leave. We had it first. He says, that's not gonna happen. You guys have to leave. And there are, again, hundreds of eight to 12 year old children watching this happen. At some point we concede defeat. We go over, pick up our clothes off the ground and just carry them away with our camera equipment to a car, but then the car is behind a gate that we don't have the key to, so we're stuck in this place and we're naked still, and we're like, well, do we put the clothes on? No, we can't put our clothes on because there's children over there, so we're sort of trapped on a high school campus, naked, in a day camp with everyone mad at us. So we rescheduled the shoot and we shot it on BuzzFeed grounds and only our coworkers had to, got to see us naked. It might have been like six months into my BuzzFeed career. Gosh, was it Daisha? She's like, hey Nick, how do you feel about wearing heels for a day? I was like, I've done drag a couple times. I'm like, I'm good, but I didn't wear it all day. Also, this was in the summer too, so it was like hot as f And Daisha was like, oh, I'm gonna put these boys in some heels. And we knew there was gonna be like some sort of like fire alarm like that week, but we didn't know the exact day. So we're going about our day, doo -doo 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 -doo, making interesting articles for you all to read. And here we go, there's like people throwing all over the office, it's like earthquake and you have to go outside. And these are not like two inch heels. These are like heels like this. Like they're big ass heels. We're walking, walking, walking like outside our office. And then they're like, oh, you should like walk in the grass. Girls have to do this all the time. And I'm like, okay. My ass was sinking in the damn grass like quicksand. I'm sinking. And we had to walk to Jersey Mike's for lunch and people were honking at us. Like, literally cat calling us. Oh, and I don't like it at all. Thank you. First cat call! Woo -hoo! I was like, wow. This is what also you all have to go through. Like, no one's cat calling me on a daily basis. I'm wearing heels and y'all want a cat call? Okay. I don't know. I obviously like didn't wear them all day. I kind of cheated a few times. I'm done. This is my life right now. Now you know why some girls take off their heels and put them on their back. That is painful. I don't want to tell you about the time my penis was on the internet. Not yet. It was a weird thing that happened uh, when we were preparing for our Try Guys strip show. We decided to put on a strip show. How fun. Not only were we doing a strip show, we were doing a strip show in front of 200 people. It was the first time that BuzzFeed had ever done a live show. And so we were really nervous. At this point, I'm used to being naked around my friends. I'm not used to being naked in front of strangers. You know, we're professionals. We want to put on a good show. We're going to practice. We're going to practice a lot. At the time, BuzzFeed's main shooting space was a hollowed out Big Lots. It was a department store that we just gutted. I called it the catacombs. It's like exposed brick everywhere and like, just like the faint dripping sound in the background. So that's where we decide to practice our strip show. We're four men in thongs and Keith is wearing a horse head. So it's a horse head and nothing else. And then he strips it off and, and reveals that he's a beautiful man. At this time, 
Zay, who is the president of, of the company, was giving a tour to Jonah, who is the CEO of BuzzFeed. It was his first time in Los Angeles to see the new space. So he was getting a tour of the whole complex. And we're like in the heat of practicing. Like we're really going for it. Cause like we only have like maybe like an hour to practice and then we have to go that night to perform. We're dancing and you know, we're slapping and jumping around and writhing our body. And we just hear a, oh, oh, hi. Hi. I turn around and there is Jonah and Zay and they're just kind of looking around this creepy room. I'm holding a lightsaber and there's like a, a box of like animal heads all over the place. And like what weird sex dungeon did these two just walk into? I don't think I'd ever met Jonah at that point. And I was excited so I said, oh, ha oh, and I realized like what we were. Unfortunately, Keith couldn't see Jonah. Keith had a horse head on. The three of us are frozen staring at my two bosses, but Keith is dancing and he's just going for it and he's really, really going for it. He's slapping and he's writhing and then it ends with him ripping his shirt off. He holds it and he's breathing heavy because he, cause he's, you know, it's a, we're not fit people. Yeah, and then I think Jonah just went, all right, and left. You know, the things we do for videos.